everyone. Welcome to Selling Smarter on Amazon with My Horizons. My name is Tristan. I work in marketing at Envision Horizons. We are an Amazon agency that's helped over 200 brands scale on the platform. And today we're talking about Amazon storefronts and storefront insights. We have Danielle with us today. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Danielle. I'm an account manager with Envision Horizons. I work to help brands grow and scale their businesses on Amazon. Perfect. Yeah. So Danielle has a lot of experience helping our clients with their storefronts. And today we just will start general with some basic questions on what they do and their benefits. And then we can get into um, some insights and metrics to track. So to start us off, who can have a storefront? How can you get access to this feature? So storefronts are free and available to all vendors and sellers as long as you are enrolled in Amazon brand registry. All of our clients are enrolled in brand registry. Um, you just have to have an active trademark and go through Amazon's brand registry process. And then you'll get access to a bunch of other features as well, like A-plus content along with the storefront. So definitely something that we recommend for optimizing your performance on Amazon. So what are some benefits that our clients see from building out storefronts? One of the things you're able to do is you get to showcase your entire brand's catalog of products. So rather than just focusing on one parent ASIN or one child ASIN, you're able to show a whole collection. Customers shop from all of the different categories and the different products that you sell in one place and on one page. You're also able to create a sense of familiarity with the customer and trust by mimicking your storefront and making it look similar to your D2C website. To go off of those points you just made, what is some content that would be featured on your storefront but might not have a good place in your listings or A-plus content? You're able to add in things like FAQs, um, a whole page for that. You're, you can also add an about page, so about your brand, share your brand story, and connect with the customer on another level rather than just showing them your products. Okay, great. Okay, so what are some best practices for showcasing your catalog within your storefront? On a storefront, you're able to highlight specific products. So something that is really helpful is showing one of your best sellers on your homepage and making that image on the storefront lead directly to the product PDP. You wanna decrease the amount of clicks it takes for a customer to find your product. And so putting it directly on the homepage shows customers exactly what they're looking for right away. Okay, great. And how, what are some examples of how our clients use the tabs within our storefront to improve the customer buying journey? The tabs make it easier for the customer to navigate through the storefront and you're able to help the customer shop based on what they're looking for. So you can put products in specific categories or help customers shop by exactly what they're looking for. So say it's by their skin type, by their hair type or whichever category they're looking for when it comes to makeup, it helps it helps you separate these. The storefront can help with cross-selling because you're able to showcase all of your products at once and showcase them on similar pages, products that might be similar to one another. Another thing you're able to add on your storefront is a page for virtual bundles. Virtual bundles are not something that are always easy to find on Amazon, but adding them directly to your storefront makes it easier for your customers to find these items and purchase them. Okay, great, that makes sense. And we can do a lot more in the storefronts to really build the experience you want and show customers how your products are complementary to each other, what sort of like ingredients they have that work well together, maybe include videos on that too. So that's a great place to cross sell. Yeah. It's also great for any brands that are in the luxury beauty program, since you are limited on what you can show on your PDPs when you're in the luxury beauty program. Mm -hmm. So you're able to describe your products and add more details about the information on the storefront. Great. And just to touch back quickly on building your about page or brand values, how do we see brands building that sense of trust with their customers in their storefront? Are they highlighting features like being eco-friendly or vegan, those sort of call outs? Yes. Always highlight those um, things that help your brand stand out compared to other brands and include a background story on the brand, why you created the brand, why this came about, and just try and inspire the 
customer to see what you see and why your brand is so special compared to any other brand that they could find on Amazon. Okay, perfect. And how can we use our storefronts to better advertise or to improve our advertising strategy? You can create sponsored brand ads that lead customers directly to the storefront. And these ads go at the top of the page um, or on different spots throughout the search page, but customers can click on these ads, go directly to the storefront and then shop shop your entire catalog of products. And we see that linking your sponsored brands campaigns to your store shows a 17% better return on your ad spend. Okay, then just linking to the product listing. Exactly. Okay, what other insights can we learn from the storefront? What are good metrics to be tracking within the platform to you know, experiment and see if what you're doing is working? We're able to track certain things and identify how the customer is shopping. So we can track the traffic to the storefront. So we can see the number of visitors on a certain day compared to other days. We can also see the number of views to the storefront compared to other days and look at it across a whole time frame. We can also see the sales on different levels. We can see the sales per date. We can see them per page or tab that you have on the storefront, and we can see them per source. So whether or not the customer was led to the storefront from a sponsored brand ad, from some sort of external marketing, or from even clicking on the storefront link on a PDP. And where are we finding all of this information? So when you have a storefront and you go to manage stores, you will see this screen pop up and you can click see insights rather than edit store. Mm -hmm. And it will take you to a page that looks like this where we can see our followers at the top. We can select and decide on our date range, make it um, a custom date range. So maybe you just updated your storefront and you wanna see how that has impacted the traffic and the visitors to your storefront. From here, you can get a bunch of data. So we also talked a little bit about, so we also talked a little bit about how sponsored brand ads do better if they're linked to your storefront. Does the insight section on Seller Central have information on advertising? From here, when we're on the storefront on the insights, you can go down and scroll down, choose source right here. Mm -hmm. And when you do, this will show you your uh, visits, views, and sales based on whichever source led the customer to your storefront. So here we see Amazon sponsored brands. All of the data here will show you um, which customers went to your storefront from your advertising. We can also see who was led to the storefront just from organic traffic. Okay, great. Let's also switch over to My Horizons. This is our Amazon analytics and diagnostic platform, My Horizons. And we ha have a lot of advertising reporting tools. Danielle, if you want to show us a little bit about how you use the advertising tools. So normally what I do is I go to the advertising tab and then I go to advertising by date because I normally want to look at a specific date range and look at the traffic. So from here, we can scroll down and go to campaign type and we can select specifically just sponsored brand. You can always go to sales and then look at your daily analytics. And when you scroll down further, you can see the campaigns and you can see on a day-to-day -day basis how your campaigns are doing and look specifically at your sponsored brand campaigns and see how they're performing. Perfect, thanks for showing us that. Uh, to wrap up, let's maybe just touch on some ideas for enhancing your storefront, things you can do to stand out or be creative there. Something you can do is add a holiday theme to your storefront. So anytime there's some sort of gift giving season, you want to add some little holiday graphics or maybe even a promotion that you're running and add it, especially to your homepage, because that's usually the first page that customers are going to see. It just gets them in the gift giving mood. It helps to inspire the customers on what they should be giving as gifts or maybe even gifting themselves. Something great to add to is a best sellers page because you can easily showcase your or the products that customers are most likely to buy and that they're probably looking for. Customers also trust other customers on Amazon. So if they see something as a best seller, it really allows the customer to trust it and trust the product and purchase it. And could we also maybe touch on shoppable images? Shoppable images allow you to add one image to your storefront on any page and link multiple 
product PDPs to that one image. So you're able to show a lifestyle image or maybe a collection of products and tag each product up to six products in that image. And as customers scroll over the image, they will be shown exactly which product their mouse is hovering over, and then it will lead them directly to that PDP. So it's something great to add um, during the holidays as maybe showing a gift collection, or if you're running a specific coupon on some items, you can show the items that you're running in that coupon all in one image. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Danielle, for walking us through Amazon storefronts and the insights and um, showing us My Horizons as well. If you are interested in a personal demo of My Horizons, please reach out to me, Tristan, T-R-I-S-T-A-N, at envisionhorizons.com. Or if you're interested in our agency services, please visit our website, envisionhorizons.com, to learn more. Part of our full service account management includes the creation and optimization of your Amazon storefront. So that's one of the many things our account managers like Danielle can assist you with. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Danielle.